What is up guys, Gilly Sniper 99 here, here, and I am a sheep. Ha, ah, just kidding. Uh, anyways, what's up? Bringing you another Minecraft episode. Um, since last time, I've been working a lot off camera on some stuff. Got a little sheep friend right there. And here is the new building we have added to our uh, soon-to-be village. We're soon we'll get some uh after we get a few more houses in here a few more shops we'll get some villagers in here and whatnot but in due time in due time um here is the new building we have created we moved the enchanting um table from right there and we made a little new building right here tell me what you guys think of the decoration of the design of the house kind of close to that just change out the wood on the bottom it's a little bit plain. I don't know. I think it, I think it works well. I think uh, once we have more buildings like that, um, at least in this kind of build style, it'll look a little better. And anyways, if we go in here, I have the... I don't really like this pressure, pressure plate, the way it looks, but um, we'll figure that out later. I have the um, granite. Granite, just uh, cobblestone on the floor. And then I put an accent of... Um, dang, what is this? Oh, I don't have any with me. Uh, whatever this wood is, I put an accent of the light um, wood right here along the edge and covering the spruce. And yeah, so I've got all of these bookshelves in here, and this is like the little library area. And my plan is, once we get a village going, I'm going to have a good, um, whoever I really like the trades on, I'll put him behind the counter. And so we can trade him some paper books you know just for emeralds and stuff so he will be this will be where we trade books and whatnot and also come to do our enchanting um, now I also want to try and put some um, chests in these two um, bookshelves right there and you can do that with uh, a kind of glitch you have to like throw a minecart chest chest minecart into there and then place the block but we will get to that um, in a little bit after I talk about this now right here by the way I was playing with the um, banners a little bit and I really like how you can actually stick them to walls and stuff see how it's like stuck to the wall right there instead of just on the floor with the uh, wooden shaft going up oh wrong thing Nope, oh, there we go. And also you can stick it to trapdoors if you hold shift and it kind of just floats there. Um, also something else I found out about uh, banners, it might be useful. Um, I don't know, I tried to get it to use it on our mouth opening of our gas up there but I couldn't figure out something that would work. But it is um, one of the only blocks that I know of that is completely like uh, transparent to where you can walk through it but it also blocks water so it's like a sign so it's like boom and we can use it in mob systems because you can get pushed right through it and go there and so like if you wanted to have a drop right here you could use it just as a sign, put it right there, and boom, just drop straight down, like that. So that's pretty cool, we might have end up using that later, but of course it's like exactly like a sign, so not sure. But let's sleep here really quick. Um, nom, 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 nom. There we go. And I did do some, also some upgrading of our um, little killing chamber in here. I'm going to have to turn down the particles for this because it, the particles on this, it just does not work because uh, I'm using water. <laughs> so it will kill the frame rates. But anyways, I have about, oh man, this is already killing the frame 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 rates. Um, I have about 257 in here. Let's see, let's uh, also turn down the, uh, the sound. Let's get that down. There we go. Alright, so I have about 257 in here. 
and before I was having to break this block and so I could reach them because right now with uh, wheat you cannot reach them from up here but this is how high it has to be for them to not like pop out of the sand when it drops so how I've gotten around that is I've installed a new device now you I have to turn particles off for this for at least while I'm recording but it works pretty well without recording uh, just hit this button right here and now without part with particles it like makes bubbles every time they jump and hit the water and that's why I have to turn off particles because it makes so many but and then you can just feed them all the wheat like this don't even have to move and you also get the XP which is awesome I didn't expect that and so you can just look around here they jump around it's kinda like boiling water I like it if you listen it sounds like boiling water <laughs> so it's our boiling water cow and sheep farm just get a little bit more in there like that and then click this button again and they go back down alright the sand is loaded let's do this farewell sheep and cows I knew you very well not really goodbye oh <laughs> whoops wrong thing <laughs> just pop up alright sand and go oh oh Oh, oh, oh gosh, oh, oh, man, that was bad frames. Whew. Okay, let's see. Um, let's just drop this stuff and see if we can pick all this up. Oh, man, it even went into there. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just want to pick it all up to see how much we got from this. Alright, so... Dang, that was a lot of mutton. And steak. More mutton than steak, though. And a lot of leather right there. Look at that. That is awesome. Alright, well, let's go try to run this to the chest really quick. <laughs> Got quite a bit in there, and then once I... Um, I'm going to run this to the chest really quick and I'll be right back to show you guys how I did the water situation. Okay, see ya. Alright guys, I am back and the sand is all put up. So we'll go down here and check this out. So I've got some dispensers on each side with water. So when I hit that button it sends redstone through down below and activates both of them which pushes them to the middle and makes them jump like this and therefore you can easily hit them with the wheat so let's see let's get out of here and I'll go down and show you the messy redstone we have it's very messy but <laughs> so you got the button right here that uh, on the back of that is a redstone torch and I'll clean all this up later but redstone torch which um, I have a down downward redstone torch set where it like activates this redstone um, that's placed on block with a redstone torch on the side of it and it's the same thing uh, one block below another thing exactly the same down here and it goes to a setup which I can automatically do it right here this is for testing so I can just hit that and because this activates all of this like this button would do so this button is acting like we hit the button up there and it sends redstone uh, redstone signal through all of these which uh, each of these redstone repeaters powers this block which unpowers this torch which then powers this torch so if we can quickly see that unpowers okay or er, powers and then unpowers so let's see if we can see that again power unpower and that creates the flick that we need to activate and deactivate the the, the dispensers on each side so that's what it is down here that's what it looks like so yeah all right okay and also on this thing um, so I've been building around here for quite a while and again I said that this wasn't the most efficient machine ever which it's not but um, 
Anyways, this is what I have gotten from it. Um, I put the dirt in there just to uh, kind of let them fall into their own piles. Um, I'll take it out later. I'm not worried about it overflowing, obviously. It's not that fast, but um, it's pretty fast. I get like maybe five or six mobs a minute. So, I mean, it, it varies on, you know, how close you are to it, but, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, I've gotten all of this just from building that house up there. Uh, yeah, so I, th I like it. it. It works out pretty well. Okay, and anyways, let's go back to what I was going to tell you about, but I forgot. <laughs> this is marking our slime chunk. So, uh, in reality, we actually have two slime chunks here. We have, I used a slime chunk finder, by the way. Uh, you can just search slime chunk finder on Google and you can type in your seed which our seed is right there in the bottom left corner of the screen if you need or want a seed for this world it's a pretty nice world um, we'll explore it after we get set up here a little bit more and anyways um, so from the slime the slime chunk the first one is from this corner right here all the way to right here so it's got a like a square going on right here and the second one is from here all the way to here diagonally of course so we've got two squares butting up right against each other and because one of them cuts into my house which right below here is the tunnel that goes all the way the quick drop tunnel that goes all the way down I do not want to dig up any of that and I didn't really want to dig up any of this because I plan to put like glass or make a huge, just have it an open hole. I'm not sure. Either way, we're going to, um, I made a gigantic circle right here. So this mini circle in the middle is going to be the slime pads. These are where the slime pads go. Uh, they're going to be staggered, uh, like, I don't know, four blocks in between. I don't know what is the max that you have to get for the, for the big slimes to be able to jump. I think it's five maybe. Either way, we'll give them the space they need because they'll jump off the pads and fall in these spaces and fall all the way down to their deaths and we'll collect the drops. And so this whole ring right here, I, actually this whole circle in general, will all need to be cut out down to bedrock. And then we'll have a huge gaping hole. We'll maybe cover it with glass or um, just have a giant hole with bridges going over it, I'm not sure. Um, comment in the comment section if you have a preference on what it should be, what you think it would look better in that. But yeah, so we'll get some slimes going out of that. And yeah. Alright, so I am going to go and get the materials I need to... Uh, the materials we need to put um, chests right here. So yeah, I will be right back. See you guys in just a moment. What is up guys? I am back and I have everything we need for the um, storage stuff, whatever. <laughs> Putting the, the minecart chest inside the bookshelves. Anyways, um, so this is how it's set up. Uh, we have a sticky piston right here so that we won't have to keep breaking it if we mess it up because it is kind of hard and this controls it and also controls this but that doesn't matter <laughs> um, so we've got that right there and it pushes this forward and backwards and then we had to break some of the ceiling a little bit but you just come up here plop down your minecart it needs to be one block up it works better that way and then you can just hit it, nudge it into there. And as long as it falls fairly straight, that probably is not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work because it's already at the side, at the edge. I'll show you. Um, you need to make sure that it's really straight. Oh, crud. <laughs> Dang it. My bad. I forgot the most important part of the glitch well not really glitch but whatever it is you've got to put a block like that so let's just put one, another one down here and nudge it into place a little bit and that one fell wrong that one's horribly wrong as you can see no nah, I can't shove it in alright so we'll try the other one
There we go. That one's better. See how it's not touching the edge? That one might work. But then again, it might not. It looks like it's good, but it might not work. I've been trying this for like the last 10 minutes to get this to work, and I've only gotten it to work once. Yeah, see, this isn't going to work right there because you can see it. But this is the general idea. It'll be like you can't see it, so it'll be like this, and you can uh, right click on it and access the inventory of the minecart. Now let's go ahead and get that back. Did I get all that? Yeah, I did. Nope, not pumpkins. Make some more of these things. And let's redo this. Which is for days. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go down and kill them. Oh man. This is another thing I need to add to this. A uh, window that'll open up so I can shoot arrows into here. No. Frickin' no. Damn. No. Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go, people. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. So let's clear this. That's awesome. I don't... Hmm. Alright, so you can see I'm hitting it there. So like, it's just... You can't even see it. And you can right click on it, and it's a chest. That is what we're wanting. I'm so happy that happened. And the top one will just go on like that, and you'll never see the top. So that is awesome. And now we'll do the exact same thing on this side. All right, I'm gonna set that up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, got it all set up. So let's try our luck on this side. Oh, that's not looking well. Oh, okay, that's looking pretty well. We'll try it. No, but let's see if I can nudge it like I did last time. Eh. <sighs> Damn. No. Get in there. Why? Won't you just get in there? Hmm. No. S stop it. How? Get away from this wall. Uh, Alright, again. Oh my god. Get in that thing. Get in the block. Get in the block. Holy crap. This is stupid. Ah!
Are you serious? Hallelujah! <laughs> that finally worked. Okay. That is awesome. Yes. Alright guys, so we have done it. We have placed... We have done the impossible. Placed minecarts in the blocks. Now if you're wanting to do this in your own Minecraft world, Minecraft, I think it works in, yeah, it definitely works in both uh, survival, or I mean uh, single player and multiplayer, but just keep hanging in there, hang in there with it. It's going to take a long time, but you will eventually get it, and now it's going to be awesome because we can enchant, put books in here, put tools in here, whatnot, whatever we want. So yeah, let's repair that and clean this up a little bit all right awesome finally got okay, that guys, done in the episode we will do some enchanting i've got my tools with me and some lapis so we can do it oh we could technically do it another time we'll do it two times for right now um let's see what will you give me efficiency for Ooh. I do like that. What will it give me on the axe? Efficiency four. So we will go with the pick. Dunna, dunna, dunna. And boom. Unbreaking three, efficiency four. Yeah, that's a good work pick. And let's do axe. What are you gonna give me? Fortune two, three. Fortune three on an axe. Would you give me? Would you give me the same thing? Oh, Fortune Three. Okay, we are <laughs> definitely going to. Oh, by the way, I figured this out. Um, so last time when I was doing enchanting, I was just throwing them in there. I forgot that the uh, new enchanting system actually gives you, if you see right above my mouse to the right a little bit, it does say what it's going to give you, or at least a hint of what it's going to give you, and I forgot about that. And we do not have a good fortune pick yet. We have a diamond pick that is fortune two, but that's still not the best. So we are going to try, we'll put it on a diamond pick. Fortune two, efficiency four. Well, actually, I don't know if there's gonna be a breaking on it. If there was, that'd be awesome, but we will put it on an iron pick. Just so we can repair it easier if it turns out that it does not have an unbreaking on it. And if it does, then all the better. Get the lapis in there and the pick. Fortune 3 and unbreaking 3 and efficiency 4. That is what I'm going for right there. Yes. All right, we are going to immediately go and name this. I had a pick, I have a multiplayer server um, that I play on and with my friends and I had a pick in it and it was just like this. And its name was Old Ironsides. I don't know why I was gonna do a um, old iron sides. Boom. Old iron sides. Look at that. Got our brand new pick, old iron sides, efficiency four, I'm breaking three, and fortune three. We are definitely going to do some huge amount of mining between now and the next episode. And next episode, hopefully, get started on our slime farm. Um, let's go down here and check this really quick. So yeah, we're actually getting some glowstone from that, which is kind of nice. But yeah, we'll also go to the nether. We'll try to go to the nether next episode, but that and more in the next episode. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the button below to subscribe to get updates on when I put out episodes for Minecraft and when I put out episodes for any of my other series that I have been doing or will be doing. And if you haven't checked out my Mountain Blade series, go ahead and check that out. It's pretty cool. All right. 
See you guys later.